the elephant foot is a monster that brings death. Even today, in the year 2023, it is hidden in the bowels of Chernobyl under the fourth power unit. Recently, experts went down under the nuclear reactor, got to the hovering nuclear corium, and recorded exceeding background radiation, as well as a hot ball of high temperature. But before I get to the video, I want to recommend you my new channel Vision or Crime, where I tell about interesting and criminal stories and mysterious disappearances, shocking crimes in the USA and Europe. I am sure you will not be bored. Follow the link that appeared in the upper right corner. Also, the link to the channel I placed in the description to this video. So, let's continue. Elephant Paws is hot lava, considered one of the most dangerous facilities in the world, except, of course, for spent nuclear fuel. It takes a person 300 seconds to get pretty badly irradiated. 300 seconds is 5 minutes, and in 3 minutes, which is 180 seconds, a person gets dizziness, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, a rise in temperature and minimal radiation exposure. So the photographers and cameramen who filmed the nuclear lava were there for no more than 2 minutes, that is, 120 seconds, and thank God they are all alive. Let's wish them health and many years of life. But in spite of that, they all got radiation sickness, and many are seriously ill. But we'll talk about everything a little further. 37 years ago, the largest accident in the history of nuclear power occurred at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in the USSR, as a result of the explosion and subsequent destruction of the fourth unit of the power plant. Huge amounts of radioactive substances were released into the environment. The 30-kilometer zone around the power plant was declared a red exclusion zone, but much has changed since then. It is safer both in the exclusion zone and inside the destroyed power unit, where, however, there is still a radioactive, non-cooling formation that should not be approached, even with the strictest safety measures in place. First discovered in December 1986, it was called an elephant's foot for its appearance and color. On the night of April 26, 1986, during an experiment, there was a power surge. The reactor protection and emergency shutdown system kicked in but probably no real reactor shutdown occurred. Attempts by the personnel to compensate for the surge were unsuccessful, and the power continued to grow uncontrollably. One theory that explains the reasons for the accident is that the fuel elements that contained the fuel melted during the uncontrolled power buildup and damaged the cooling circuit. Because of this, water and steam entered the reactor space, which was maintained at atmospheric pressure. As a result, the first steam explosion occurred, which threw up the reactor lid. This structural element, weighing about 2,000 tons, broke through the roof of the power unit. Water from the cooling circuit, which continued to flow into the reactor, was still turning into steam. There was a second explosion, which released large amounts of radioactive elements into the environment. Scientists later found out that there was indeed a real nuclear explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Its power was about 75 tons in TNT equivalent. Because of several explosions, the reactor of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant received serious damage, including in the steam distribution system. The resulting breach began to leak molten radioactive mass that turned into lava. The fuel elements, flowing out like lava, containing uranium and zirconium fuel and fuel element coatings, mixed with concrete debris, sand and metal structural elements through the cooling and steam distribution system. This melt, dubbed the Chernobylian, melted for nearly a week until it reached the bubbler pool. This is the name of a special tank with cold water where excess steam from the cooling system is discharged in case of emergency and then condensed. The liquidators of the accident feared that lava from the reactor core could melt its bottom, penetrate the soil, and contaminate the aquifer. According to the recollections of one of the liquidators, research engineer Georgi Popov, later in one of the suspicious rooms, where the usual instrumentation went off the scale, a child horse on wheels was pushed through, on which a measuring sensor was attached. The gauge read 14,500 x-rays per hour. It was not until December 1986 that the researchers were able to get into the Barbotter pool, where very high radiation levels were recorded. There they saw a huge blob, with a gray, in places black, shiny surface. Measurements showed radiation of about 8,000 x-rays per hour. On the surface of the blob, 
they called it an elephant's foot for its appearance. The researchers later discovered that it consisted of molten lead. The first time after the accident, helicopters dropped lead blocks into the reactor area at Unit 4. It was assumed that the lead would draw off some of the heat and, by distributing it, increase the heat transfer area. This was to extinguish the power of the molten core. Sometime after the discovery, with great difficulty by short approaches, literally for a couple of seconds, the researchers were able to collect a few samples of elephants' feet. In fact, watch this footage now. After these pictures were taken, the photographers and cameramen received a medium degree of radiation sickness. Thank God, they are all alive, but many of them are sick and in pain. Let's wish all the photographers and cameramen who filmed the elephant foot health, strength, and patience. Later researchers discovered that the elephant foot contained about 10% uranium, a full set of radionuclides and nuclear fuel, a melt of silicon dioxide and other radio elements. Such a melt, otherwise known as corium. The world's first corium was formed in a reactor accident at Three Mile Island. To this day it remains the site of the world's largest assemblage of a diverse alloy not found in ordinary nature. Elephant's leg, originally estimated to weigh 11 tons, is only the largest formation. Stalactites and stalagmites were formed in the reactor zone, with varying radioactivity, which usually rarely exceeded 600 to 700 x-rays per hour. The researchers measured that the base area of the elephant foot was about 6 square meters, and the base area of the stalactite that sprang from the foot was 1.71 square meters. In 2013, the temperature of the corium at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant was estimated to be about 2,000 degrees Celsius. Today, the temperature of the site remains several degrees higher than the ambient temperature. Since the decay of actinoids and other radioactive elements in it is still going on, it is believed that if one stays near the elephant foot for 500 seconds today, death from overtraining will occur within two days. That's why all the photographers and research cameramen were not more than 200 to 250 seconds, and for longer pictures, people would switch places, that is, some would leave and others would come in. In order to prevent the spread of radioactive elements from the destroyed fourth unit of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant by November 1986, an isolation structure was hastily built over it. It was officially named the shelter, unofficially sarcophagus. In 2007, construction began on a new facility, Shelter 2, that is, the NSC containment. Although now the double shelter is supposed to prevent the spread of radioactive substances by air, it probably will not provide complete safety. Some experts believe that elephant foot could cause another disaster in the future. Its simple elephant foot continues to melt the concrete base beneath it and will eventually pass through the concrete and fall into the soil and into the ground drinking water. In turn, this will lead to the poisoning of underground water sources and even a new explosion. The explosion will be due to the fact that this particular meltdown from side to side with all kinds of different chemicals will get into the water, causing the cold water and the corium to come into sharp contact. Now you see the most popular picture in the whole world, and it was taken by Arthur Corneve. You see an elephant's leg on the right, some kind of fire at the bottom left, and a man at the top in a white helmet, and behind him some kind of reflection. This fire and the second man is a reflection, there was nothing of that in the real world. It was all a reflection of the background on the camera film. The elephant foot gave off a colossal amount of radiation that the equipment began to melt before Arthur's eyes, so to speak, and recorded these strange effects. Soon, according to the photographer, the camera was destroyed, but the film miraculously survived and was able to make pictures from it. Some experts believe that the sarcophagus and shelter too, i.e. the new safe containment, created additional pressure on the ground around the fourth power unit, and in the future the foundations may simply collapse. As a result, the elephant's foot will burn through the ground beneath it and fall into the soil, and eventually begin to leach out, poisoning the underground water sources in the first place. The year is 2023, and no one in the world has decided what to do about the elephant foot. I thank you for watching. Your support is very important to me. Your comments and thumbs up motivate me to release new videos on interesting topics. Subscribe and turn on notifications. See you in the new videos.